be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. It definitely helps out the channel. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's content. Now, today we're actually gonna be doing a viewer slash subscriber topic, all right? All right, so we have Brom K here. He said, hey man, really love your videos. I'm a beginner and you post so much content, I'm rarely grateful you make these videos all right so he's asking about the 64 step sequencer um he downloaded 10.7.2 and he's not able to see the regions um as one instead he's seeing a bunch of different regions so i'm going to explain to him how to do um to be able to see the one region okay so let's go ahead and jump into that as you can see here um i have this hi-hat pattern right here i have it as 64 steps and in the newer version of Logic Pro 10.7, you're able to actually, instead of having to skip, you know, go to these different sections like this, you can actually see all the 64 steps um, in one. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to change the view so you can see those 64 steps all at once. So um, if you go over here to the top or to the bottom uh, right of the screen, right above the 64 steps, there's these two different boxes right here. So if you click on this box, all right, compared to this box, you can basically zoom in or zoom out of the different views with that 64 steps. So that's basically the way you do this. Um, now I can see the 64 steps and you know manipulate it however I want to, or if I want to go from different sections and basically zoom in, because that's basically what this is, is a zoom in option. So where I can zoom into the different patterns here, because not everybody wants to necessarily see all the 64 steps when they're trying to edit the beat or edit each uh, little section here. Um, you can zoom in or zoom out this way, all right? Now, before we end the video, I also wanna share that I do have some um, more courses that I've added to the site, beatmakingbasis.com. Make sure you go and check it out. Um, previously, we just had the Beat Making for Beginners course and Beat Making in Logic Pro 10.5. I've also added another course called Drum Programming for Music Producers. It's talking about how to, um, you know, basically do all the syncopated hi hats, um, snare rolls, uh, kick patterns that you hear in today's music. Um, best thing about it is it's actually going to be a universal uh, concept here. I'm teaching like the theory of it. And also I have Music Theory for Beatmakers Volume 1. This is where I'm going to be giving you some simple formulas that you can play any major or minor basic score, chord or scale on the keyboard and how to apply it to your beats in order to make dope melodies. And then lastly, I also have this beat making in Logic Pro 10.4. So if you haven't updated to Logic 10.5 yet, um, then this is going to be a great course that you can get here. I'll be up, uh, uploading more courses and also kits in the months to come. So make sure you're staying, um, you know, active in this community as well. Beatmakingbasis.com.